Hello everyone, my name is Danny. In today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to open the conditional order and the compare with the limit order as well. Stay in the tune. Before everything, we're going to go in for the chart and uh, describe it what the conditional order is. Conditional order, for example, if somebody want to open the position above the resistance line and don't want to miss out any opportunity when you are not behind the computer or when be not awake i don't want to do any opportunity that is really good for this condition formation of the conditional order for the long is like that trigger price above the order price and the for short is a, the opposite direction trigger price below the order price good point and bad point of the breakout trader breakout trader never missed any opportunity but the other, other way it could be the market hit your stop loss and they're going on the other way market price is 19,766 but I'm gonna open the long position on the $19,400 when the price reached to the $19,400 it's gonna be open the position for us we're gonna put it on the $19,400 on the order price and they put a quantity in there when the price reaches the $19,400 it's gonna be open the position for us on the, this area you can set up your stop loss and the take a profit on here too for the short position, you need to, for example, if you want to open the position below the, this level, right? Because the price is above the, this level, you need to go in for the conditional order. If you open the short position on the, this level, because the price of the entry is below the price of the market is gonna be automatically fill up the market price for you I'm gonna open the position on here as a short right if I put it on the limit here they're gonna be straight away fill up the, my price as a limit we need to go in for the conditional order trigger price is gonna be for example 19,400 right but you need to a little bit this one is change a little bit going up for example if the price is get reached to the 19,400 you need to put it this one as 19,399 because first we need to see that this uh, as a trigger price we need to see the 19,400 at first then fill up the our price is as a 19,399 for the long position we have a same two if I want you want to open the long position on the this one here on the last swing high for example uh, our last swing high is around the 22,000 for example 22,000 for the last swing high we're going to be open the long position on this level but the price is 19,755 if I put a 19 uh, tw um, 22,000 under this one open the long position under this 22,000 on the limit 
you or your order is filled up straight away because you put it more than the market price. We need to go in for the conditional order. Uh, for example, we tell the uh, uh, condition, our condition is going to be to meet the 22,000 first. Trigger price is 22,000. But we're going to be open the shorter than that. First, see the 22,000. And then our price, our order is being filled up. If you not put it, not put it so tight, right? It's going to be your order is not, sometimes it's not going to be filled up. For example, if you put a 22,000, right? You put the 22,000, but you want to open order the position first, get into the 22,000 first. Then when you reach to the 20,000, 21, uh, 21,600, for example, you open your position. Potentially make a market is going up and then never reach this one. Your order is not going to be filled up under this level because your trigger was around the 22,000, but your order number, your order price was 20, uh, 21,600. It's going to be, your order is not going to be filled up. Maybe the target is not going to be reached. First, not going to reach that one and then not going to pull back here. We're going to go in for the one altcoin, like for example, like a sushi. You don't have it, uh, that price. We're going to be open the position, right? Limit order, we're going to be open the position under this area, right? We're going to be open the when the price on the open the long position under this area $1.50 right we're gonna go in for the limit order the price for example order the price $1.50 we open the long position depend on how many quant uh, quantity that you want for example we need a thousand dollar thousand quantity of the sushi adjust your leverage and uh, we're gonna go in for the open the short uh, long position on this one one dollar when the price is meet this area is reached to the one dollar fifty cent it's gonna be open the long position for us and uh, we can, uh, you can do the like a, do the stop loss and the take a profit as well here too, under this option. For example, take a profit. Uh, for example, 10, 25 percent or any uh, number that you want, and uh, a stop loss. For example, 10 percent. Open the long position. But we're gonna be open the short position. When the price is reached to the, this area, for example, our target is going to be $1.94 cent. When the price reached to the, this area, we're going to be open the short position. We're going to put it on the $1.94 cent, right? Quantity, put the quantity, put the stop loss and the take a profit. Open the position as a short here. When the price to open the short, when the reach price reach to the, this area, they're gonna be open the short position for you. As you can see here, it's gonna be here. For the long position, for the limit, if the price reach to the one dollar fifty cent. When the price reached to the $1.50, we're going to be open the long position. We're going to be going for conditional order here. For example, 
uh, the price reached to the when the price reached to the one dollar fifty cent we're gonna be open the short position the condition is when the price reached to the one dollar fifty cent we're gonna be open the short position this is you need to go in for the short if you put a uh, long, uh, if you want to put it under this area we're gonna be open the short position for example we're gonna quantity for example 10 right open the but the price when the price for example reach, uh, trigger must be more than the order price the price has to be meet at first this area this trigger then when you come back to this area we're gonna be open to another position 499 for example if you want to fill up the straight away you're gonna be open the short position under this area as you can see our condition order is sitting here right it's gonna be sitting under this area I'm gonna cancel it we're gonna not gonna but when I'm gonna open the long position when the above the this one for example I'm gonna open the position under one dollar ninety five cent you need to put a one dollar ninety five cent for the trigger and uh, one dollar ninety four for uh, for example ninety four ninety nine we're gonna be open the long position under this area our conditional order is going to be see when the price reached to the, this area we're going to be open the long position but and the other thing that I'm going to mention it uh, for example I'm going to cancel this one I'm going to show you something the price you're going to open the position under this one and the, then when they like a, above the, this swing high open the long position first you need to see the 95 and then open the position on the 94 for example 95 and 93 trigger price must be above the order price on the long position and uh, for the short position the trigger price must be below the order price confirm it's gonna be sit here the condition is gonna be met here when the price reached to this area and the then pull back to the 93 we're gonna be open the position and the market and the 93 you can see the condi understanding conditional order sitting under this part when they fill it up it's gonna be going for position Thanks for watching. If you like, you can follow my Discord channel and like the video. And see you next time.